Hueva, ¿cómo están todos? I hope that all of you guys are doing awesome today. Today is... Sorry, right here. Hueva, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today. Today is... Thursday, May 14 of 2020. On math, we are going to continue reviewing a little bit more about division and more of shapes. So the first thing that we're doing, you're going to divide a shape. The shape that we're dividing is a circle. So I want you to imagine you're cutting a cake. Imagine that your cake, you have a circle cake and you're cutting the cake into pieces. And you're going to divide a circle into two equal parts. Then you're going to solve the word problem. And today we're doing division. Remember, division is like sharing. Very good. And then optional, optional, extra. So you don't have to do this, but these are extra work for you to improve and get better in division. So optional and extra, extra work. You can go to Go Math Volume 1 and do the page 412 to 414. Those are optional. Those are extra work for you to do that can help you. Remember, the one that you have to do are the divide the circles into two equal parts and solve the word problem. The Go Math is extra. That's optional if you have the time and if you have the book. Okay, guys? That will be all. Let's continue to the class. We are going to review the names of the shapes. We have here a few shapes. How do they look like? And the word in Spanish. We have circle. And the circle has zero sides. No tiene lados. In Spanish, círculo. Triangle. The triangle says Three triangle has three sides. Triangulo tres tiene tres lados. We have the square. It has four sides and all the sides are the same. In Spanish, cuadrado. Then we have the rectangle. The rectangle has also four, four sides, but it has two long sides and two short sides. In Spanish, rectangulo. And the last one that we're going to learn today is pentagon. The pentagon says penta. Penta means five. Pentagono, it has five sides. These are the shapes of, uh, that we learned today. Now we're going to learn the vocabulary words about equal parts. Equal parts, partes iguales. We have half. The half looks like this, one over two, one half, medio. Then we have fourth, one fourth, cuarto, un cuarto, eighth, one eighth, octavo, un octavo. So remember, all these words are very important because when we divide a part, a shape into equal parts, we need to use this vocabulary words. You're going to cut your cake into two equal parts. I'm going to do my cake. This is Mr. Hernandez cake. And my cake is a rectangle. Tengo un pastel, un cumpleaños, y es un rectángulo. And I'm going to cut my cake into two equal parts. So two people are going to eat my cake. So if I do two equal parts, I'm gonna cut it in half, in el medio. So we have one half, un medio, one half, one half, un medio. So you're going to do the same, but I want your cake, your cake is going to be a Circle. So cut your circle into two equal parts. You're gonna cut your cake into two 
equal parts. I'm going to be reading the word problem and doing cubes while I'm reading it. So here we go. Rudy has a 28 stickers. So we're talking about 28 stickers that Rudy has. And those 28 stickers, Rudy has, has those stickers to give, she's going to give, so va a dar, to four friends. Así que ella le va a dar 28 stickers a cuatro, a, a cuatro amigos. Así que ella tiene 28 stickers y se los va a dar a cuatro amigos. He gives the same number. So it has to be the same number of stickers to each friend. So cada amigo recibe la misma cantidad de stickers. So we have 28 stickers and we're going to divide the 28 stickers into four friends. So this means that Rudy is going to share because division is like sharing. How many stickers did each friend get? Again, Rudy has 28 stickers and we're going to divide the 28 stickers into four friends and we need to find this answer. How many stickers each friend is going to have? Repito, Rudy tiene 28 stickers y se los va a dar y los va a repartir en cuatro amigos. Igualmente. No es que le va a dar a los cuatro 28, no es 28 para ti, 28 para ti, eso no. Es que de 28 los va a compartir con cuatro personas. La pregunta es cuántos stickers tiene cada persona. Now, let's do the work. So right now, here I have all of these toys and each toy represents a sticker. Cada juguete representa un sticker. And we need to remember that Rudy, she had 28 stickers. Stickers. And she's going to share to divide those stickers with four Friends. Lo va a compartir con cuatro amigos. So, we need to know how many stickers each friend is going to get. So, let's do the part, part, whole. If I do the part, part, whole, we know that in division, this is the whole. Because how many stickers does Rudy has? Rudy only has 28 stickers. So, she has... 28 stickers and let's put them here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So right now we have 28 stickers on the top because this is the whole. Este es el todo. She has 28 stickers in all. The question is, how many stickers did each friend get? So how many friends does, does Rudy has? Rudy has four friends. So 28 stickers divided by four. So this means that we need four parts. We have one, two, three, and four. Four parts. One, two, three, four, four friends. Let's share because division is like sharing. We have one, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Ooh. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 20, 
20, where, where, where am I? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Very good. So all these stickers, I put them to four friends. We divide between four, 28 divided by four. So let's count how many stickers each friend has. We have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers. 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 So, 28 stickers divided by four friends equals seven stickers. Stickers for each. Cada uno recibe siete stickers. You're going to do the same thing with this word problem. We have Ruby has 36 stickers to give to six friends. Earlier, she had 28 and she shared them with four friends. Now she has 36 and she needs to share them with six friends. He gives the same number of stickers to each friend. How many stickers does each friend get? Remember to do the number sentence and the part, part, whole. Okay, guys? This is all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.